Hey guys, we might get started now. Um, so if you just joined in the last couple of minutes, welcome to our new features webinar for OpenSolar 2.3.0. Um, on behalf of OpenSolar, I'm so excited to present these new features to you all. Um, I hope the webinar is really informative and equips you with um, you know, all the knowledge you need to use these features with confidence going forward. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to submit them in the chat box down below. Um, and then we'll have a designated Q&A time at the end of the session where I can walk through the questions and answer all of your questions. Um, cool, so I'll just share my screen now and get into the presentation. Hope you can all see that. Awesome. So something that we really pride ourselves with in Open Solar is that we are a constantly evolving platform. Um, and a huge part of this comes from how we're a user centric platform as well. So we listen to the feedback that you guys give us and then implement this to constantly improve Open Solar. So whether this be by adding new features or improving our existing ones, we're always here to listen to your advice. Um, and of course, we are a mission driven company. So all of this is given to you for free. Um, yeah, and we really appreciate the feedback you give us. So please do continue to shout out and reach out to us whenever you have any requests, whether it be new features, improvements to UI, or anything else that you think might, you might benefit from. Um, just feel free to email us at support at opensolar.com. So just before I get into the new features of this release, um, I just thought in case there's any newbies here, firstly, welcome to Open Solar. Um, but I also just thought I'd give a quick overview of what Open Solar is. So basically, we're an end to end solar design and proposal software. Um, we're a mission driven company. So we have the aim to have a world powered by sunshine. And we really want to do our bit for the climate movement. Um, and because of this, we're completely free to use with no hidden per proposal or monthly fees, leaving you guys free to grow. Um, so we were founded by the pioneers of remote solar design. So these two lovely blokes, Adam Pryor and Andrew Birch, um, and they really are experts in the industry. So you know that you're in good hands. Um, so Open Solar is one of the fastest online selling tools. Um, so you can create custom interactive proposals in under two minutes. And this includes automated 3D designs, which automatically calculate shading, pitch, and azimuth. It's just a matter of painting your panels and you're good to go. Um, we also have integrated finance and e-signatures. So this really streamlines the sales process to help you close your deals as quickly as possible. And not only are we fast, but we're also the most accurate selling tool with third party validated accuracy. So our year round shading analysis and reports means even more accurate output. Um, and of course, lastly, we don't just, you know, we're not just for design. Um, we're also an end to end business management solution. So yeah, not only can you design systems and sell proposals, but we also have a built in CRM, which allows you to manage your teams and workflows all within open solar. Um, and we do also have an open API. So you can connect your existing CRM platform with open solar too. Cool, so let's jump into 2.3.0 now. So just as a high level overview, these are all of our new features from our latest release. We're super excited about all of these and I really hope that you guys enjoy them too. So firstly, we have an automatic bill of materials generation. So you can generate this straight from your projects. Um, we have enhanced and improved our component pricing to allow you to create non-linear pricing and more complex pricing schemes. Um, we've also enabled CSV import and exports to download and update your pricing and costing settings. And you also now have the ability to automatically send PDF proposals and contracts upon a customer accepting a proposal. So you don't have to do this manually anymore. Um, and I'll just be running through a few of these in more detail now. But if you want to learn about um, the rest of the features, we have a product release blog post. Um, we also have our help center, which has really detailed training materials. Um, and of course, reach out to support at opensolar.com as well. 
Cool. So I'll just jump into a few of these in a bit more detail. So the first one is our bomb generation. Um, and this is a feature which means you can now download a detailed PDF or CSV bomb straight from the project. Um, so it'll be done in the project info page, like I'll show you a bit later, um, with no additional input needed from you. So the bomb will automatically populate the hardware components, quantities, and costs of these components. So it's just ready to send out for ordering equipment. Um, this will, of course, save you time with equipment orders um, and just really streamline the end-to-end -end selling process for you guys. And you can also ensure accurate specs and orders without the risk of any human error. Next, we have proposal and contract enhancements, and there's sort of two new features under this. So firstly, you can now um, automatically email out a PDF version of your proposal on, and contract to customers um, when they accept the contract. So you can customize the email subject and content um, and also choose whether you wanna send out the proposal, contract or the proposal and contract. Um, and of course, this feature will just save you time with instant document generation, and it'll help you deliver outstanding customer experience when closing your deals. And secondly, you now also have the ability to generate PDF versions of your contract and proposal, um, either as separate documents or as combined documents. So once again, just giving you greater flexibility and ease with document generation. And last of all, we have our price engine enhancement. And there's sort of three key, three key features to this here. So firstly, we've improved our component pricing feature. So this allows you to create custom non-linear pricing schemes for your components. Um, and I'll show you a bit later exactly how to do this when we're in the app. Um, and yeah, so the detailed pricing allows you to set costs, labor and price adjustments, either on a per unit, per panel or per watt basis. Um, for each piece of hardware. So, and you can also decide whether it's a system size or a number of components use basis. Um, and yeah, this just gives you more control over your costing and pricing schemes. Um, we also have a new pricing and costing CSV import functionality. So this allows you to quickly download, update and re-upload your pricing and costing schemes in OpenSolar. Um, and you have the ability to do this for price schemes, cost schemes, and for your hardware database. Um, and of course, this will just save you valuable time when configuring these schemes. And lastly, we've updated our system lifetime simulation settings to generate even more accurate proposals and models. So you now have the ability to automatically simulate the system lifetime based on the maximum product warranty of the panel used. So for example, if you use a panel with a warranty of 40 years, um, the system will automatically project the financial savings over 40 years. So this just helps you produce more accurate bankable proposals, which really show your customers the long-term investment value. Cool, so that's just an overview of the features. I'm now gonna hop into the app and actually demo how to use these features for you. So let me just hop into OpenSolar. Cool, so here we are in the project info phase. Um, I'm sure that this is all quite familiar to you guys now. Um, and I'll just quickly show you how to, do how to download the bomb first. So if you just go to the right here, you'll see this download bomb button. So just as easy as clicking on that, you'll be able to select which system you wanna download the bomb for if you have multiple system options that you're offering. And then you can also choose um, which file format. So you can either do a CSV, which will download a separate CSV file on your device. Or if you do a PDF, it'll pop up in um, a separate tab. Um, so I've just got it up here for you guys. So you'll see that the bomb is completely white label. So you'll have your logo here, your company name up the top, and also um, in this company name section here. Um, you'll also have a blank section for notes if you want to add anything there once you've downloaded the bomb. Um, and then here we have the list of components. So we have all of the parts here. We have the manufacturer. We have the type of component that it is. And then we also have the unit and the total cost here. So all very nicely laid out. Um, and you'll see that when you've generated the bomb, it'll also come up here in your project files. So it's nice and easy for you to download and have on hand later on as well. Awesome, so now onto our proposal and contract enhancements. So firstly, I'll quickly show you how to enable your settings so that um, a PDF copy of your proposal slash contract gets sent to your customers automatically on acceptance. So to do this, you're just gonna navigate, oh, sorry. Just give me a second here. 
Cool, yep, so we're just gonna navigate to control and then purchase experience and checkout experience. And then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see this section that says managing files on proposal acceptance. So all you need to do is toggle on this button here. And when you do, you'll be able to choose whether you wanna send out the combined proposal and contract PDF as one document, or if you just wanna send out the proposal or just wanna send out the contract PDF. And then, as I mentioned before, you can also edit the email subject here and also edit the email body. And this is the email that will um, be sent out to them when your contract is sent out. Um, cool. And then to our second proposal and control enhancement. So that's the ability to download the contract and proposal PDFs um, as either combined or separate documents. So to do this, we're just going to hop into projects and then go to online proposal. And then I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to download proposal. And if I click on this, you'll see that you now have an option to download either the combined proposal and contract, just the proposal or just the contract. So yep, it's as easy as that. Awesome, so the last thing I'm gonna run through super quickly is just through the price engine enhancements. So the first one I'll go through is the detailed pricing feature for the components. So once again, to enable this, we're gonna to go to control. And then for this example, I'm just gonna use an inverter. So I've just hopped into inverter and then I'm gonna click edit onto one of these um, components here. And then we're going to scroll down to this pricing section. So to enter the detailed pricing, you just need to click on one of these buttons. And from here, you can see that you can set the tier defined on either the system size or the number of components. And what you select here will basically define what this tier means. So just an, as an example, um, let's say for this example, we want to set the COGS to be $200 per unit for systems with um, a system size up to and including five kilowatts. We would enter it like this. So we'd put in 200 for the price. And then for the tier, we would put in five. And then say if we want to add an additional tier, so if we wanted to set the COGS to be $150 for system sizes over five kilowatts, um, but under 10, then we could do 150 here and then add 10. And then if we wanted to set the price as $120 for everything over 10, then we can just put 120 here and then make sure that you leave this blank. And that's basically how you set up your complex tiered pricing schemes. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to customize the financial simulation settings. So to do this, we're just going to stay in design and hardware, but go to setbacks and design settings and then click edit here. And then if I just go to simulation settings down here, you'll see this toggle, which is the automatically set years to simulate toggle. Um, so once again, when this is toggled on, um, the simulation time frame for the project is based on the maximum module product warranty um, out of all the system options in the project. So if it was 40 years, then the, um, then the simulation would automatically simulate 40 years um, into the future. So that's just a quick overview of all of our new features. Um, pretty quick and easy to show just because it's really quick and easy to use for you guys. So I'll leave the floor open for you. If you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them in the chat box down below. Otherwise, as always, feel free to reach out to support at opensolar.com and we can answer your questions there. Um, we also offer one-on-one -on -one demo sessions for new users. So if you are new to the platform and are looking for additional support, please don't hesitate to reach out and we can book in a session for you. Thanks a lot, guys. Open Solar.